Are new babe hit the subscribe button because you're gonna want to stay if you're returning hey besties it's so good to see you guys again guess where i just left you won't be able to see it but guess where i just left my new school okay yeah i just saw my classroom i got to see it just in passing because they're using my classroom as a summer school classroom sorry y'all it's so hot i need some air anyway so i just had a meeting with our assistant principal and i met a couple of staff that is like here during the summer and when i tell you guys i am so incredibly excited to be working at this school because First of all, I don't know if I was telling you guys, but the staff is like, they're all saved. Like you literally just walk in, it's like, these are my people. Like we were in that meeting just quoting scripture and just talking about how education is a ministry and how they cover themselves and they do morning prayer in the morning before the kids get in to cover themselves. And it's just, ah, I just know. There was a reason why God loved me here because as you guys know, this actually was not on my list of places to move. Like I for sure thought I was gonna be in Tampa or Texas or something very much not maryland but we're here and i'm just slowly but surely seeing how god is or why god had me come here so i'm just so excited but everything is so nice there's so much natural light i have huge windows and the classrooms are just gorgeous the whole building is gorgeous my day starts a lot earlier like i have to get to school probably around like 6 45 7 o'clock and it's only a 20 minute commute so it's not super bad but that is going to be an adjustment so over the next couple of weeks i'm probably going to have to start training my body to get up and do my morning routine as if I have to leave the house at like six o'clock 6 20 in the morning I love it here how are you guys how are we doing do we need some prayer do we need some words of encouragement like what are we praying for what are we praying on how is God showing up for you let me know down below in the comment section all right so my meeting actually went for a really long time like it was scheduled for 10 o'clock and it is 11 50 right now so we were in there but you know what like when people start talking about the lord i just have to like i can't stop <laughs> the moment you mention jesus like we're about to be in conversation okay but anyway so i wish i had footage to show you my classroom but i couldn't actually get into the classroom because they were actually teaching scholars at that time so Here's what's on the agenda for today. I'm going to get coffee right now. Don't know from where, but I gotta stop and get some coffee. Then I need to run to a grocery store because I need to get groceries. I was not having the best day yesterday and I couldn't get on camera. I just, you know, needed some time to just give myself some grace. So I gave myself the 48 hours to feel how I was gonna feel, but now we are getting back to the routine. So today I'm going to get coffee, going to the store, like the grocery store, and then I, I need to go to Target because I need to get, what do I need to get? Oh, some protein pasta from there. And I also need to get some of my face products and stuff. I'm gonna do that. And then afterwards I need to go to the gym. I also need to meal prep at some point today. I will have to meal prep because I don't have any food left over. And then I think today is the day that I'm going to organize my closet because it needs to get done yeah that's what is on my agenda for today so this might just be like a little day vlog maybe lead into tomorrow just like a couple of days oh and i need to finish editing a video that needs to go up today because the weekly vlog needs to go up today by four o'clock so that's what we're doing right now but i'm just so excited because when i walked into that building like i just felt the presence of god like everybody and their spirit like you know when your spirit can tell that discernment kicks in literally there is not one staff member today that i talked to that did not mention jesus christ and i just i love it oh and not to mention it is not like a christian school like this is a public school okay so like some people are gonna be like oh well you know you're probably teaching at a christian school i'm not <laughs> this is very much a public school and i just oh. God is just so good. Anyway, let's go ahead. I need to find a coffee shop. I need to find a Trader Joe's and then we will reconvene.
Trader Joe's was absolutely crazy. Like I've never seen a Trader Joe's so packed in my entire life, but you know what? We got most of our groceries. I do have to make a stop at Target, but I'm currently in a drive-thru and let me tell you how I played myself. Well, they tried to get me because I think this place is called Atwater and my GPS was telling me that I needed to go this way to get out of the parking lot, but no. Atwater is a restaurant that also has a drive-thru so i couldn't get out because like i was already boxed in so i had to order iced coffee from here because there was a starbucks that i wanted to go to and it was not a drive through and i wasn't finding parking like i'm not i'm not doing that so i guess it worked out for me because i didn't have to get out of my car and they had like they had a bunch of cool flavors like lavender honey vanilla lavender i got the house made caramel flavor so we'll see how that is i just need some coffee in my system immediately once i get to my apartment i'm gonna put my groceries away i guess i could give you guys another grocery haul i feel like people get sick of seeing grocery hauls but then when i don't show them people also get mad that i don't show them so it's like i don't really know but you're gonna get two in one week and that's completely fine but i'll show you what i got i also got some flowers too and i had to make sure that they were not lilies because y'all do you remember how I kept saying my house smelled like pee? Literally smelled disgusting. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure I got tulips. I wouldn't mind signing that. Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can get it back in there for you. Thank you. Have a great one. Thank you, you too. Take care. I almost hit the building. OMG. Anyway, y'all, so I had to make sure that I didn't get lilies because they just, I couldn't go through that again. My new apartment, like, mm -mm. all right, let me put the straw in this coffee. I need to clean my car today too. We might have to do that because I finally got those boxes out of the back of my car. Thank you, Lord. This is now the way out. They really try to get me. Anyway, here's the coffee. She's cute. This coffee is disgusting. Okay, that coffee is literally nasty. We're gonna drink it because I just spent like a good amount of money on it. But all right, let's go to Target. but y'all they have the vanilla cashmere eos lotion i haven't been able to find it in literally months so i got two bottles i did damage i'm never shopping again after this but also this cute little girl comes up to me she goes do you have a tiktok and i was like i do have one and she's like do you post like meals like what i eat a day videos and i was like yeah like yeah i haven't posted in a really long time though and she was like i saw your videos like and then she pulled it up on her phone and i was like that's so cute. I need to get more active on TikTok. This is really my sign to get more active. But anyway, we are about to leave from out of here before I spend any more money. And I'm really sad because they don't have the Bonza penne pasta. They also didn't have asparagus and I can't find asparagus anywhere. It's like the second store I've gone to and like they're having a hard time getting asparagus stocked, which sucks because I need asparagus and the penne pasta for this meal prep. So we're just gonna have to swap. We're just gonna have to be flexible here. But anyway, let me get out of here. I know it's gonna tell me that I spent like $200 at Target and that's not what we needed today, but just pray for me. y'all this is a pretty big grocery haul but remember i'm still trying to like stock up my house so just really quick i got some eggs these really good chili spice mangoes and then i got some almond flour some baking chips these are the milk chocolate chips from lily's i really really like these a lot some bonza pasta this is the rotini i really wanted the penne but we're not gonna dwell we're not gonna dwell and then i got this pack of the quest protein chips and the nacho cheese flavor i'll work from this side and then move over okay um i got two things of frozen shrimp two things of turkey sausage for some breakfast bowls i'm gonna be making this week and then some protein bars you guys already know i love me some power crunch bars and the peanut butter fudge and the triple chocolate and then also i really have been liking the barbells cookies and cream and the cookie dough ones so those ones are right here and then i re-upped on some seasonings forgive my cutting board okay use your imagination you don't see this i couldn't put it in the dishwasher all right i needed to get some salt because your girl ran out how do you run out of salt and then this chili lime seasoning blend that reminds me of tahin then of course 
everybody's favorite, everything but the bagel seasoning, onion salt, and of course, this gem, which is the green goddess seasoning. She's so fire. All right, then I got two large fillets of salmon, some frozen roasted potatoes with peppers and onions, mushroom ravioli, cause you know, we're trying to stock the freezer. And then I really wanted to go ahead and try the cookie butter ice cream. My cycle is coming, so I know I'm gonna want something sweet, but I don't want it to keep going out every day, so I decided to pick this Speculos cookie butter ice cream up, so I'll let you know how I like it. Okay, now, I already told you guys I was going back to get this chocolate milk from Fairlife because she is the bomb.com. I got two, because you will not catch me in this house without it ever again. Then I got two bottles of the Health Aid kombucha and the Pink Lady Apple flavor. That's my favorite flavor. And then two bags of broccoli, some shelled edamame, a red pepper, a red onion, some scallions, two bags of, is it like a like coleslaw mix, I guess? It's technically not coleslaw because I don't think it comes with like the little pack packaging, but it has red and green cabbage and then shredded carrots, which I need for a recipe this week. Some red seedless grapes, pure vanilla extract, more cookie butter because I'm playing a dangerous game here. And then I got some salad dressing. This is the Ken Steakhouse balsamic vinaigrette in the light version. Some, what's this called? Sriracha, soy sauce, creamy peanut butter, and of course some flowers. And this is everything that I got grocery wise. I did some damage today, you guys, but I absolutely needed it. So we're just gonna be thankful that the Lord has provided. <laughs> All right, let me put this stuff away. We're getting into counter chat because I don't have any chairs. So this is just where we are. It's the next day. Yesterday I came home, I edited a video. I was on the phone with Cousin Bree. We watched a movie, we watched Xenon. If anybody remembers Xenon, the girl from the 21st century, that was a movie, okay? What a time. Anyway, so yesterday, I know I was supposed to get back on camera and do all these things. Did not happen. I was productive, but I didn't film anything. So today we're gonna like, you know, pick up where we left off. Also, I know that there's an echo. I just ask that everybody be patient with me because I just moved. And so the quality of my audio right now is not the best, but trust me, I'm trying to get microphones and extra equipment. It's just, you know, I just moved and everything is really expensive. So please just show me some grace, okay? I'm trying. So we're about to go to the gym and I'm here trying to chug my pre-workout. It's just, I just can never finish it. I don't know why, like I just, it just feels too early to put anything on my stomach, but it just makes me feel full, like fast, and I just don't, I don't know. So I'm trying to like drink it. I was trying to chug it, but then I was like, you know what, let me slow down. Also, I ordered furniture, living room furniture. I'm taking it room by room. And y'all, living room furniture in general, everything in general is expensive, okay? Like I could not believe the pricing for sectionals. I was baffled. Like, I really wanted the sectional, but I'm not paying no $5,000 for a sectional. Lord, it's getting real ghetto down here because why? Oh my gosh, so I, so today is July 11th and it's Amazon Prime Day. So I was like, all right, me and Cousin Bree were like looking through furniture that was fitting the aesthetic that I wanna have in my apartment because I'm trying to adopt more neutral. So we were looking yesterday for like couches and stuff and I found a lot of my stuff on Amazon Prime because they were cheaper than Amazon, but they were getting like five stars and like really, really good reviews. So I'm really excited because over the next couple of weeks, you guys will be able to see me furnish my living room and it probably will not sound as echoey in here. But anyways, what else? Prime day didn't start until 3 a.m. though, so your girl had to set an alarm for 2.57 a.m. so I could wake up. And when I tell you it hurt me, like it hurt me to pay that kind of money for furniture. But I know that it's an investment. It wasn't no $5,000. Let me just clear that up right now, okay? I... You won't get that from me. You will not get that from me. So I ordered a couch, my coffee table, a rug, a TV console, a couple of lamps, and I think some just like table decor. And then probably in six months, I'm gonna have to furnish my dining room because who has money to keep up? That's crazy. I could not believe. Like when I put it on my credit card, I was like, mm -hmm. like Lord, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I trust you. If you brought me to it, you gonna bring me through it. So that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm excited because now I'll have another space in the house where I can film and actually sit because my TV has been in the same box in the same place since I moved in three weeks ago. And I've just literally only been able to sit here on the counter or in my bed. And you know, if you sit on your bed for too long, you just want to take a nap. I mean, my bed is very, 
comfortable, it's very inviting. Like my sheets, my mattress, everything is just so soft and like warm and ugh. Yeah, so today we are going to clean my car out. And I mean, we're going to clean it. We're going to clean it so well because I finally got that stuff, most of the stuff out of my car and I just need my car back to normal. So we're gonna go clean my car today. I also want to unpack my closet cause that did not happen. It needs to get done. I'm just tired of looking at the boxes in my closet. Like it's just like, okay, Rihanna, stop being trifling and just do it. So we're gonna do those things today. We're also gonna do a Bible study today. We could do a Bible study together because I shared in my last vlog that I have been having a really hard time picking up my Bible. And it seems like I'm not the only one that goes through that. And I'm not saying that I love to hear that other people are struggling with it, but it's nice to know that it's not just me at times. So I've been feeling like a horrible daughter. I'm like, I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't always get it right. And I don't always see his plan and his ways um, because his ways are not my ways. But I truly, this morning, I was like, you know what, Lord, like, I'm done being trifling. I need to pick up my Bible. So we're gonna pick up our Bibles together. And then also basically after I clean my car, I'm not going outside anymore because outside is expensive. And where I live, I'm in like the heart of the city and there's like so many shopping centers. Like, oh my gosh. Ulta, Marshalls, Ross, Target, Home Goods. Then there's like a mall literally right around the corner from me, like a shopping center, please send help. So we're gonna be inside for the rest of the summer because outside is just, they're just gonna take all my money. And I don't really have that luxury right now to just have money to just be blowing like that. So anyway, let's go to the gym. We're about to lift kind of heavy. My gym doesn't really, mm, it'll get the job done. But we're doing glutes and quads today. And now that I'm no longer sore, I'm ready to be sore again. So let's go. super tired my legs are shaking all right so we are getting our car cleaned well i'm about to vacuum and wipe down the inside of my car because it's nasty it just it's just been cluttered for so long like with the move and like moving out of my classroom that like it just really needs a good vacuum and wipe down so that's what we're getting ready to do it's a couple of hours later i was supposed to come here two hours ago to clean my car at 12 didn't happen it's two o'clock so we're gonna get this done and then we're gonna head back to the house and i gotta start meal prepping because it's tuesday and i haven't meal prepped but i need to meal prep from today till sunday so like i get a full weekend yeah that's the update nothing too crazy you know life lately has just been a lot of downtime physically so i hope it's not boring but this is just what a teacher's life during the summer looks like unless you know i 
plan something, but yeah. All right, let's go ahead and clean this car and then we'll figure it out. MTV Cribs. Just kidding. All right, welcome to my closet. And she is chaotic, okay? There's no like order, there's boxes, there's everything everywhere. And I should be ashamed, okay? Ashamed that I've allowed my closet to look like this for the last three weeks. It's unacceptable, I can't do it anymore. We're about to clear this up. Also, we're fast forwarding a day. I had a little like, you know, like a little family not emergency but just something that i needed to focus in on so this is wednesday and the vlog was actually supposed to go up today but because my whole morning was kind of um taken with my little family thing i came back and i binge watched the third k drama that i watched this summer okay so i told you guys that i finished extraordinary attorney woo and then i also finished my hollow love but the one that i just finished today and i literally binged is called my first first love oh and it was so good it was so good i can't believe it's over i watched both seasons in a matter of like three days so anyway we're about to get into cleaning the mo or not cleaning but like i don't even know what i want to call it we're gonna do something it's not gonna look a lot like this when i get done with it we're gonna figure some things out so just enjoy this little time lapse of whatever i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna get ready for bed and we could do a bible study together so Let's get into it.
Okay, this is all that we're gonna be able to pretty much accomplish for the night because I have clothes in these boxes still, but I don't have enough hangers. And I really want to use as much of this hanger space as I possibly can or this hanging space. So um, I just have like dresses and stuff there and rompers that need to be hung up. But I also have some like hoodies and stuff and shirts. That stuff doesn't need to be hung up. I just wanted to fold it and leave it there. So I'll probably use this. And then also this is where I keep my towels. And then down there, I also have some... um what do you call those t-shirts these are just going to stay here out of the mix this is where i keep my winter clothes and my fall clothes this will not be here for much longer i just have to get some more hangers so i can hang up the clothes so this is just basically the start and then up here i have some shoes and some handbags and stuff like that put as many shoes as i really felt like taking out of the box on this shoe rack not really 100 percent sure if i'm gonna leave this in here i might move it to my little coat closet in the front of the house i feel like that would be more like effective because i don't want to wear shoes throughout my house and then i'm leaving this side open because my prayer wall prayer closet is going to be on this side and i've been just trying to gather some material so that i can start fixing this up i'm gonna get a chair in the corner over here and then just like have a little like prayer rug down there and then like put up my prayer boards my blessing boards and all that and just other scriptures so we're gonna keep this side of the closet clear but this is it so far probably in the next video i'll have more hangers and we can kind of wrap this up because this was kind of a process also i'm not and i mean it i am not color coordinating at least not now i don't think i have really enough clothes to really color coordinate anyway but i don't really care i just needed them out of these boxes and out of the way so i cleared out two full boxes and then i have just like a box and a half left but this is the closet okay so good morning it's the following day i think this video has taken me a really long time to film because i wanted to do bible study with you guys but i I've had literally like no desire to pick up the word and I didn't really know where I wanted to pick up in the word like I just feel like even right now I don't know where to go and you know what that's okay because the Lord is gonna give it to me I'm gonna pray but I just feel like this is a reality like sitting here right now I've just been sitting here for like the last like 20 minutes just staring at the Bible flipping through pages and I'm just like feeling so I don't know <laughs> just feeling so blah about it because when you grow weary when you're not seeing the results that you thought you would see by now or i don't even know how you like explain it but there are certain things in my life that i thought that i would have at this point and i don't and i think like my hope was so high that i was gonna have it and now that it's not here there's this level of disappointment and i don't know about you but it's really hard for me sometimes to go back to god when i feel like he's disappointed me and i'm grateful to know that i serve a god that is not afraid to win back my trust there are just some times where you just go through this in your walk and i'm trying to recharge myself because i know that i don't want to do life without him i've tried the world and the world did not love me back <laughs> i want my life and everything that i do to be anchored in the lord and i know that this is the way to go and i actually think huh, so interesting the bible is open right now right just like randomly and it's open to psalm 63 and it's titled the thirsting soul satisfied in god huh. so maybe that's what i'll read today and i'm probably just going to do like the soap method or something i'm going to do it on my computer because i don't have any more loose leaf paper for my binder so i've got to get some of that so i can like actually hand write out notes and then i'm also going to do this one off camera but this is the self-study bible course by Derek prince that i was telling you guys about and it gives me that um textbook feel that i really like in studying i also have the bible workout bible workout the bible workbook this is volume two volume one's in my in my i'm in my classroom it's in my bedroom this is the new testament and um i think i need to go grab the other one but this also gives me that textbook like study feel that i really desire when learning the word and i know you can't study the bible like a textbook because it doesn't work like that it's the living word the word itself doesn't change as your situation changes the text will literally speak differently to you in that season so yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna read psalm 63 i highly suggest and recommend if you guys are finding yourself in a similar position as me you're just finding it so hard to pick up your bible just give yourself 
some grace. Start slowly. I'm picking a chapter that only has 11 verses. I can't commit right now to anything that's super, super long because I feel like that would just overwhelm me. And not that I like strayed away from God, it's just like being in my word, breaking down what the word is speaking to me, what God is trying to say to me. It's just, it doesn't have to be something that is so overwhelming, that's something that is so daunting. And I think that's why people don't pick up their Bibles because you think that you have to spend hours and hours and hours. Sometimes you don't have hours and hours and hours to just dedicate. Anyway, I'm using Notion and Notion is one of my favorite Bible study tools. I use it on my computer and it's a wonderful tool to have because it just it just breaks up the monotony. Like if you don't want to write things down, you can go on Notion and you can, there are a bunch of Bible study templates that you can use on there. I will share mine down below, but I'm probably going to do the soap method today. Or if there are a few verses, just like jot down some things about a few verses that spoke to me um, and how they did. I just want to be a source of encouragement for you because I know it's hard. I know sometimes picking up the Bible seems like a chore and the goal is to get from it feeling like a chore to it being something that you just genuinely crave and that's where I'm trying to be at right now I'm trying to take baby steps to get there because I've been trying to fill there's a void that needs to be filled there are things that I am desiring there are things that I am craving right now and because I haven't received it yet from the Lord I'm looking for it in other places so I'm trying to fill my time with watching k-dramas and shopping and scrolling on Instagram scrolling on threads like I'm just literally trying to fill that void with nothing because I feel empty every single time once the once the show ends I'm over here just like with this hole in my heart like wow or when I'm scrolling for hours on TikTok and Instagram and threads I'm like I still don't feel any better <laughs> like I was distracted for a little bit I'm just trying to distract myself but I just wanted to share that with you guys because you guys know that y'all are my family and I tell you guys everything even if it's the stuff that people not look down on but like sometimes you feel like you've got it all together and you want to portray that in the best light but one thing on my channel is that I'm going to show you the very realistic side of life of this walk and it's not always like I'm in my Bible every single day. I'm worshiping and praising every single day. And that's the goal, but it doesn't always happen. And I just want to show you that this is a realistic step that I'm taking for myself. So I'm going to sit myself here, put my phone on Do Not Disturb, and I'm going to read for the next maybe 15 minutes. I'm going to do my Bible study for another 15 minutes. And in total, that's going to be 30 minutes of my day. And then I can go about my business and do whatever. But I know that the Lord will reach me here. And I know that I'm going to come out of this Bible study feeling more encouraged, closer to God. And it's going to start to build back my drive. But you got to pick it up. You got to pick the Bible up in order for you to get closer to God. You're not just going to get closer to God just by wanting it. You've got to put some action behind it. Psalm 63, the thirsting soul satisfied in God reads, O God, you are my God. With deepest longing, I will seek you. My soul, my life, my very self thirsts for you. My flesh longs and sighs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I have gazed upon you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. So will I bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hand in your name. My soul, my life, my very self is satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth offers praises to you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate and thoughtfully focus on you in the night watches. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings, where I am always protected, I sing for joy. My soul, my life, my very self clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life to destroy it will be destroyed and go into the depths of the earth and to the underworld. They will be given over to the power of the sword. They will be prey for foxes, but the king will rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him, honoring the true God, acknowledging his authority and majesty will glory for the mouths of those who speak lies will be stopped. Some of the major takeaways from this text is that King David fled to the wilderness of Judah after being chased from the throne and hunted like an animal during the time of Absalom's rebellion. And even though he was in the wilderness, he recognized that 
his need for physical food and water was not what would actually quench him completely. God is the living water that is needed to sustain all life. And even in the wilderness, David finds satisfaction, joy, and comfort in praising God. God's loving kindness and faithfulness is more important than life-sustaining necessities, such as food and water. And when we learn this just as David did, we too will be able to praise God with joyful lips. In verse one, it says, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. And a couple of notes that I took is one that my soul also thirsts for God. And instead of seeking him diligently, I run to other things for satisfaction and end up empty once I'm done engaging in those distractions. The world is also a dry and weary land filled with empty promises, temporary attractions, and zero satisfaction without God. David declares that the Lord's loving kindness is better than life. And because of this, his lips shall praise him. He's in the middle of his wilderness. He's in the middle of his storm and he's still choosing to praise because God is that good. And my question that I had for myself is how can I find satisfaction while I'm in the middle of my wilderness? And ultimately without God, I'm not going to make it. So I just want to make sure that I'm equipping myself with the tools necessary to help me through because on my own, I can't do it. And even though I'm going through my wilderness, God is still good. And so the lesson for me is that no matter what I'm going through, no matter what season or stage of my life that I am in, I will always, always, always give God the glory, honor, and praise through it all. So I just finished my Bible study and I'm not saying that I feel 100% back but I definitely think that it put some things into perspective for me. It showed me that my focus is on the wrong things, not all the time, but like I am choosing to focus on the wilderness and not focus on God, which is truly what matters here. So, um, but I do feel a little bit more encouraged and I feel I can go about my day. I really hope that this can be an encouragement to you and wherever you are in your walk with Christ, whatever you are struggling with, whatever you are wrestling with, I truly, truly challenge you to submit it to the Lord. Lord, and go before him in prayer, go before him in the word. I know people don't like to hear it because it's not something that I like to hear too. It's kind of like, okay, I'll just give you a quick example. It's kind of like when you are seeking a kingdom spouse and then people say, you know what? You should be focusing on yourself. Yes, we understand. It's not something we want to hear. Yes, we know that there is truth. That, that, that is true. You should be focusing on yourself and the things of the Lord, but it's also not the thing that we want to hear. If you are trying to draw nearer to God, the only way you're gonna really get it, the only way that you're gonna hear from him is if you seek him and his word. Seek him through his word. You don't have to read chapters. You don't have to read pages and you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours, right? That can be daunting. Start off small, maybe a verse a day, maybe two verses a day, maybe a chapter a day, whatever you can handle, go because no matter what the moment you pick your bible up the moment you get into that worship position the more you get into alignment with god that little verse that you thought was just going to be enough for you to carry god will meet you right at the very center of it and he will continue to draw closer to you as you are drawing closer to him so i just want that to be an encouragement to you and know that there's nothing wrong with you okay i have felt like there's something wrong with me like why don't i get it right why don't i have this like desire to always read my bible and i'm like i don't understand how everybody else just gets it but the truth is everybody doesn't just get it i don't care who tries to get up here and tries to make it seem like they got it all together that they are in their word every single day studying now there are people like that that exist okay i'm not saying that that doesn't exist what i am saying though is is that more often than not people have these struggles as well and they don't really talk about it but i'm gonna talk about it here just start small find you a little versey verse in the Bible, sit there, read it once, read it twice, read it three times, jot some things down that stood out to you, and then pray about it. Go before the Lord in prayer and ask him to really breathe a fresh revelation into you and just open your spiritual eyes and ears and just have an open heart to receive it. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys off here. I absolutely love you guys. I adore you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking around for this video and just for your support and encouragement in general. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next.